In today's episode of 5 Scary Ghost Videos Caught on Camera. Number 5. Our first ghost video is from the Mindset TV YouTube channel. This time Casey and Colton were asked to come to the house where the family lives, who sees the ghost of an old man that has been seen all over the house. Upon arriving at the building, Colton and the Casey began an investigation. From the very beginning, they started using the SLS device, which is similar to a Kinect, which detected many strange shapes throughout the house. Still pretty Christmassy. Entering the home, there was definitely a, a bit of a weird vibe walking in. We were getting figures pop up on the SLS device almost instantly. Wait, check it out. Okay. Something about the stairwell, look. And some of them, they were attached to objects. You could tell when it's kind of malfunctioning, the software is trying to register things, and you could see it's grabbing onto a chair. But then there was a few within the home. There was nothing for it to grab onto. It was in the middle of a hallway, or it was standing in the middle of a room. And when we get those kind of figures, that's when we know we got something. Look, look, right there, look. That's a trip. Oh, it looks like the hands were tied. Did you see that? Look. Doesn't it look like hands behind his back? Look. You see if that? that's you, can you move towards us or towards the center of the room? Looks like it's trying to. Yeah. We're gonna come in now. Is there anything you'd like us to see? You wanna show us anything? Can you lead the way? Oh, check that out. I stopped that, that obvious bear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I found this bear online that's supposed to be good for paranormal investigations. Here, keep it. Let me grab your camera real quick. Okay. While you do that. See, that's what I'm saying. This hallway is oh, yeah. a bit of a trip. Here, um. I don't know if there's like a reason why he's. Hey, check it out. What? It's a, it's like an EMF detector. Uh huh. And it has built in phrases, so. Yeah. Uh, it has like over a thousand phrases, I think. Uh huh. <gasps> what? Moving on to the next room, we see suspicious figures that disappear after a while. Then the device turns on and the door behind Casey closes. Then Colton was blindfolded on the second floor and Casey went down to the basement. At one point, something interesting happened. Is there more than one entity in this house? Suddenly, the device on the first floor turned on and gave a chilling answer. But what happened next is truly terrifying. Visit you. Find us. I mean, it's like barely visible, but that's like a wet footprint. Right 
wet footprints coming from the bathroom by the kitchen towards the basement where I was. Right down to where I was at. Like what? There's footprints. And I thought he was saying that he saw footprints like outside somewhere. It's like shoe prints? No, like, like wet footprints. Like someone like was walking barefoot in the house. Here. I'm feeling like my heart is pounding right now. When we go down to the kitchen, he's pointing at the floor saying that they're right here and I'm seeing nothing. I thought this guy was hallucinating. I thought we'd been in the dark for too long. Like barefoot, you said, right? Yeah, barefoot. They're f***ing gone. What was the shower running? I didn't even look. I just f***ing came up when I saw the footprints. The moment Casey comes out of the basement, he notices wet marks on the floor, which appear in the bathroom and all the way to the basement door. This unusual sight scares him a little and he goes upstairs to the Colton who is still sitting blindfold and they go downstairs together. But the strangest thing is that there are no more footprints on the floor and the shower door that was open is now closed with a black substance inside. After this strange experience, they both sat down near the footprints and turned on the yes no prism device and they didn't have to wait long for an answer. We saw a lot of figures on the SLS earlier. You heard that, right? We saw a lot of figures on the SLS earlier. That was like a single bell. It was a single, like, the yeah. door. Was that you? It just rang the bell? Okay. So we have something that would like to communicate. So obviously you're powerful enough to move objects. Are you powerful enough to speak with us? Now hear me out. Like, maybe... Wait, 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 wait. Again? First, a strange ringing sound. Then, two strange replies from the device. And again, strange noises from the next room. Which turned out to be... A bat. Yeah. So, what do you folks think about it? Is this house really haunted? And all these strange events and phenomena confirm it? Or is it? just something else and everything can be rationally explained. You are the judges. You decide. If you want to watch the full episode of this investigation, visit their YouTube channel MindCTV. Number 4. The next video comes from the YouTube channel Franco TV, who this time went to a well-known cemetery where he captured a mysterious old lady and experienced some strange events. After his arrival, Frank began exploring the graveyard and at the very beginning, he went to the place where he saw Lady in White for the first time. Stuff on the floor here. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's creepy. That thing just started moving. And there is no wind. I wish I had a flag to show you. And their slippers. 
I don't remember if that was there, but this looks different. I just got goosebumps, I'm not gonna lie. I got goosebumps. Leopard, <laughs> leopard skin slippers. <laughs> I actually got underwear. That's leopard skin. What the fuck? There's no wind. <laughs> look, look at the leaves. Or uh, I want to see if I can find something to show you that there's no wind. But leopard skin sandals. Now I think somebody's actually visiting. As odd and creepy as that is because I'm pretty sure I would have seen the leopard skin on video from when I first saw this lady here alright that is terrifying can you stop moving the In the exact same place where Frank recorded the lady, there are a pair of slippers and a plastic pot that moves one way and the other without the help of the wind. After what happened, Frank decided to go to the another mausoleum. While driving, something strange happened. I'm actually driving in the car. Did you hear that? I'm literally driving in the car. Listen, that is the recording from my last video that I did, and I have my my Kate's uh, my EVP recorder. I have my EVP recorder in the back. You have to turn on a side switch, and the thing just started playing while I'm driving. Okay. Suddenly, the EVP recorder in the back of the car turns on by itself which is very bizarre and practically impossible. After that, Frank drove to another place, this time to an abandoned cemetery where a murder was once committed. What he captured there is shilling. Alright, hold on, I'm gonna use my thermal imaging camera to see if I can see anything before I walk into this place. Come on, hurry up, load. Hold on, let me turn off my lights. Alright, I'm completely dark. There we go. I can't even tell, and my battery's dying. Holy shit. I just heard something. What is going on? Look at this. Here, let me come out towards the main road area here. Wait a second, I'm scaring the hell out of myself. All right. Whoa. Look at this. I just got movement. Here. Bugs eating me alive right now.
Holy sh I actually have somebody there. Hello? Hello? While Frank is scanning the grounds with a thermal imaging camera in the distance at the end of the path, we see a figure walking towards him. But after a while, when Frank lights up the area, we don't see anyone or anything. So was it a real ghost? Or was it just someone passing this way at night in complete darkness? The final decision is yours. I highly recommended watching this episode and visiting his YouTube channel Franco TV. Number 3. The next scary video comes from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal. This time Ryan, River, Wyatt and Nick went to the Kent family who lives in Nevada. The family complains of strange paranormal activity in their home. Some things move by themselves and sometimes they hear voices. After their arrival, the entire team began an investigation. For practically the entire time, the twin paranormal team used a SLS camera, thanks to which they repeatedly managed to capture someone's figure. I'm gonna go over towards the two-year-old daughter's bed and uh, see if by any chance I can find any energy spikes. This device that I'm holding in my hand is a device to where I can find out if you are here, in here with us right now. All you need to do is come up to this device in my hand and grab onto this device. Don't move. Where? The corner. The bed? The little alcove between the couch. In her bed, yes. And her bed. Oh, shoot. To your left. Literally. There's something crouching down right to your left. Turn on the AMF. Right there, right there. That's it. Oh my god. Right there, right? Oh are my you, god, right there. Are you in the corner right now? I'm gonna sit down right next to you. Is that possible? Yes. It's, it's, your, oh, it's, it's on your arm. It's pointing in the corner. Are you touching my arm right now? It is. Thank you so much. Can you make it spike higher, please? Oh. There it goes. Right. There it goes. There yes, it goes. Thank yes, you yes. so much. I, I have the chills like no other two. It's still there. It's like shifting shape. Why are you in this home? Are you connected to anything here? Can you please let go? Oh my god. I'm gonna set this down on the couch if you can. Grab onto it please for us. Make it's it gone. spike. It's gone? It's gone. At one point a figure appeared on the bed, which is also detected by the K2 meter but after a short while, it disappears. A few minutes later, in silence, the mysterious figure reappears. We really appreciate you talking to us. You spiking and touching this device means so much to us. This family is very concerned if you are a good spirit or a bad spirit, and we are here to find out if you are here to harm them. Because if you do, you are not welcome here. This family does not deserve anything like that. They are a great family and they are here to live. But if you are here to protect them, then please protect Wait. them. Something is... Dude, my camera, I've never seen this before, literally had like a strike go all the way through it. River, really? something is yeah. sitting on the back of the couch as well. 
Yeah. Yeah. Someone is sitting. Whoever's sitting on the couch, whoever's in here with us, please tell us your name. They are still there. Where? To the left. Where Where are we going here? Your left. You want to grab that EMF? Yeah. Something's right there against the wall. It's gone. This whole Airy. place is just full of so much energy right now. Using the little box in Ryan's hand. Was that you? No. Are you? you did You're you not hear that? I heard something. I thought one of you said You're something. You're kidding me. And it's spiking stop. right in front of me. You stop! You stop! You stop! No. Guys, something is right in front of me. I'm feeling cold. Did I'm I can't. Just I'm just no, I'm, I'm tingling. I won't go. River. Yeah. EMF. This time, a strange figure appears on the wall, and moments later, we hear a creepy EVP, and again, a few minutes later, we see something on the SLS camera. It's the same exact spot. Someone's right here. SLS is picking it up. It's Where it was? Mm -hmm. Gone. Is it because I, I got in the way? Again. No, no, Again. it's just gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just heard a no. I just heard a clean no. Fear. 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 I just heard a clean no. Once again, the silhouette appears on the wall and disappears as soon as it appeared. After this events, Ryan and River decide to stay alone in the apartment and try to communicate with the ghost. What is going on? What is all that sliding? Can you grab onto this device I have in my hand, please? We're only here to talk to you and, and communicate with you and find out why you are here. Can you spike this device if you are a good person? If you have no means in hurting this family? Yeah. So you don't, you don't want to hurt this family? That was a good spike. Can you grab onto this more, please? I know you can. Come on. Show us that you are a good spirit. Thank there we you. Go. Thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. And I know the family appreciates that too. So, are you a part of this family? Were you a part of this family? Spike it hard. Oh my, dude, you I are just a got part the chills. of dude, I got the I chills got too. The chills so bad. So you are a part of this family. So are you a male or a female? Female. If you are a female, spike it really hard. Grab onto it really hard. Are you a male? Grab onto it even harder. So you are a male. Hold on. Are there two of you here? While trying to communicate with the ghost, we can see them talk to the spirit through the K2 meter, and thanks to that, they got some interesting answers. What do you think about it? Did the twin paranormal crew who went to the Ken family house captured the real ghost on the camera and they managed to record one of the better EVPs or was it 
just a very good hoax. Choose wisely. If you want to watch full episode of this investigation, visit their YouTube channel Twin Paranormal. Number 2 Another video comes from the YouTube channel Dargos Paranormal, who has decided to stay overnight in a haunted house, which last week I showed you the first part of his stay. In the second part, Dargos stays in the same building during the night and just like in previous one, the paranormal activity has not gone away. Где тут, друзья, пыль? Где эта машина? First, the remote-controlled car moves towards it, then a loud bang from the room, next silence, and after a while we can again hear strange, inexplicable sounds from all over the house, and finally someone knocks on the door. After this incident, nothing happens all night long, but in the very morning, when Darghost talks to the camera, he accidentally catches something scary. Так, друзья, уже 13.00, за мной еще никто не приехал. Должны были приехать в 8 утра, 8, 9, где-то так. Я так думаю, что это из-за снега. Сегодня был сильный снегопад ночью, и, возможно, что-то случилось на дороге. Behind his back, 
we see the same strange dark figure we saw earlier. So what do you folks think about it? The dark ghost really capture something paranormal and scary that night? Or was it just a very well done hoax? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to watch the full episodes, visit his YouTube channel Dark Ghost Paranormal. Number 1 The last video comes from the YouTube channel Bano Paranormal, who once again went to an abandoned factory. While exploring the building, his camera captured something really scary. Anyway, uh, I think there's one more room, uh, I don't know what, one more thing that I want to show you. What the f... I said I won't... I said I won't be scared. Let's go. Hello? Hello? Je tu někdo? Nevím, jestli se mi to zdálo, ale nejste tu někdo. Já tady jenom proskoumávám, já jsem si jenom chtěl pár tak pořídit. Já hnedka odejdu, jestli chcete. Immediately after the sound of the glass moving on the ground, in one of the rooms we see a dark figure looking at him. What's more interesting, a few seconds later, when he enters there, he finds no one. So, are you shadow man or just a hoax? Decide, folks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content. See you in the next one.